Hey, what is up? I'm here to stream Barony and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of gum. All right, so the objective of, to of today's stream is that there have been some changes to the Gnomish Mine, some rebalances to some of the classes. I haven't done quite enough testing of the Underworld, but I've also done some Underworld changes since my last Underworld playtest. And so I'm gonna try to make it through at least to the Underworld. I don't know if I'll play past the Underworld with any character. That's a lot of the game. We're gonna do early Underworld and later Underworld if we can make it, just because I wanna get as much testing in as I can. I do have a lot of characters that have gone through the Gnomish Mines. As you can see, Mesmer, Barbarian, Wizard, Healer, Cleric, Ninja. I believe they've all made it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start fresh. What do we wanna start with? We already have a Barbarian, Wizard, Healer, Cleric, and Ninja. So let's do somebody that's not like that. Rogue. Let's do a Rogue. There have been some changes to the Rogue class. We'll call him Wedge. That's a good name for a Rogue, don't you think? Exquisite. Is the game audio coming through, by the way? It looks like it's extremely minimal. I'm gonna turn it up. Check. Okay, that looks more about right. If it's too quiet, let me know. All right, Wedge the Rogue. <laughs> Let's see how far we can get. Oh, just a change I need to revert. While I'm here, I might as well show it off. I made a uh, waterfall and lava fall textures so that if you see a uh, water or lava from the side, it looks like it's falling rather than just the exact same as when it's on the ground because that's silly. I only put this in here to test my textures, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Eventually. There we go. Back to normal. So as you can see, the rogue starts now with 15 knockback arrows and a noisemaker. And I believe he has two more poison potions. I think he started with three before, and now he's got five. There's a few reasons for that. I really wanted to solidify the rogue's role as the best tinkerer who is not the mechanist. So he's like a generalist melee archer who's also good at tinkering. He's a very good utility character. The only thing he doesn't really do at all is magic. And that's great because he's kind of like jack of all trades, master of none in all of those things. I think his lock picks have been upgraded to excellent. Yep, that's right. The things he does well, he does better. His short sword is now excellent as well. It used to be serviceable or worn or something. Because skeletons are your biggest threat early game, you know, the swords already suck versus skeletons. We felt it was the right thing to do. To, oh, and he's got a bronze sword instead of an iron sword. It felt like the right thing to do to go ahead and give him an excellent bronze sword instead of a, a bad one. One of the other things I'm going to be looking at this time is a little bit of shop stuff. Again! You know, we didn't really set out on a mission to really overhaul shops. Those new arrows really help me out because they do a little extra damage, whereas normally skeletons are really resistant. Oh, also my short bow is excellent, so the rogue got buffed in that way as well. Fun fact, the first class I ever beat the game with was the rogue, which is interesting because a lot of people think the rogue is an underpowered class. The fact that we buffed him shows that we agreed to some extent that he didn't have a great gameplay identity, or rather that it could be improved. Oh, alchemy stuff. That's an extremely good find for a rogue this early. Now, if I have to pick between tinkering and alchemy, I'm gonna pick tinkering just because that's better for him. Oh, nice. I'll keep that teleportation ring just because it's worth a little bit of money. Assassinated. Looks like we had some combat. I'm a human, so I'm gonna go recruit this guy. Greetings, sir. Hey, welcome, fellow rogue. Oh, dang, I've got the makings for some poison. Wow, look, <laughs> hold on. Let's decant for a second here. That's a lot of poison potions, holy smokes. We just got water out of that. That's all right. Hopefully I can get another acid out of this. Nope, no acid. You know, the rogue is pretty good at alchemy too. So maybe uh, I'll just have to be judicious about what I do. Let's go ahead and get out our short sword. By the some, gods! Some Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Did I, I hurt you? you? All right, you wait there. Yes. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> okay, there's one more room I haven't quite explored. Let's see if we can get over there. Glasses, I'm glad I did that. Little perception is always nice to have. And we got no way to dig. So I set my human up there just to rest for a while in hopes that she would survive long enough to be useful again. I'm gonna put it right there. As you can see, like starting with 15 knockback arrows, it's not a ton of arrows, but it's enough to get me through multiple encounters. And by that time, I found some more loot. It should just make the early game not so sink or swim for the rogue. The noisemaker can also help as a method of self-preservation, just draw the enemy away. Let's check out this stuff before we drink out of that. Tinkering has improved. That's what I like to see. Oh, we've got a towel. I might actually make use of that. I'll keep my Ring of Adornment on because it's doing me uh, an AC point right now. That's just as good as one constitution for the most part. Where that poison resistance fire will drop. Uh-oh. <laughs> you weak. I'm putting the jukes on a troll. Makes me feel like a big man. Force bolt. Okay, can't read it yet. Let's go assassinate this troll. 
Oh, dang it. Hey, turn around. Hey, what's up, The Real Panoramic? Love you, game. Thank you. Appreciate it. The team has worked in a dedicated fashion. We really love Barony, and I love how much it's become. It's such a more robust game than it was, and I really hope this UI update makes the game more appealing to a wider audience. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're feeding me. I'm just gonna let the poison continue to eat him away. The poison's working really well. That's the evilest thing I can imagine. I've been playing with my friends a lot recently. It's so addicting. The UI is definitely making the game pop out more. Do you have any more future updates regarding bars bosses? Well, we- Die. Oh, nice. Bro. I did not expect that backstab to be so powerful. So in our Kickstarter, one of our stretch goals was to add a new boss to the game. And that stretch goal was met. It was like a $5,000 stretch, stretch goal, I think. So what I can announce is that we do plan on adding one boss to the game. We're not sure what that boss will be or where it will pop up in the world. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go kill that spider. It looks like it's running away as a result of low health. I think he went this way. He could have gone the other way. Yeah, I think I lost him. Oh, there he is. I want to assassinate him so bad. <laughs> yeah, baby. But yeah, so definitely going to add another boss. Where that boss will be is still remains to be determined. Okay, this What's is a great find for me. Time, I've got eh? quite enough money to benefit from a shop here. Um, I'm gonna go and sell him the moldy cheese. The aged cheese. I'll buy this healing potion. Oh man, I can't believe that didn't up my skill. That had a very high chance to up my skill and it did not up my skill. I bought the healing potion because it's worth 78 gold and there's a chance to increase your skill equivalent to the cost of the item. A lot of slightly aged bread. If I could afford it all, I would buy it all because it's stacking. All right, we're gonna get rid of these staffs. Oh, is that a human in there? All right. Good, okay. Thank you for joining me. My duplication chances, let's look, 60%. Not worth risking my only healing potion right now. It is a little tempting to try to duplicate my sickness potions. So we've explored the whole floor. Tell my other follower to come with me. She's at full health now. What have you got? You've got a slingshot. Okay, they're both 100% gonna die in the Gnomish Mines. There's just like no question about it. They'll serve as good cannon fodder for me. Let's see how much the meat's gonna sell for in the shop. It's probably not gonna be worth it, but I'm gonna check it out. 13. Yeah, I'd have to sell all my meat to buy like one more bread and it's just not worth it. So I'm just happy to have some food. Let's move to the Gnomish Mines. There's a good chance I'm gonna die here, like a really good chance. Step one, get rid of the torches. All right, my humans are dying in there, which is expected. Let's lure this gnome over here. Okay, I'm tempted to pick up this shield. Gnome's got me nervous. Like this may seem like it's going well, and it is, but like at any second, they could be behind me. So if I'm standing still and- Ugh. You picked the wrong house, yeah. fool! <laughs> So if I'm standing still, I feel like I'm in trouble, you know? Let's put my shield on my hotbar so I can sneak. Okay, so if you haven't seen me, actually, I don't know if I've streamed the mine since I made this change, but I added gold veins to the wall. And so now all the gold that you would normally just find in dead ends in this map, now you find inside the walls. To be clear, this is a nerf. It does make it harder to get rich in here. The gnome mines were a little bit too rewarding anyway. And the gnomes drop tons of pickaxes in here. And so, and the whole theme is that it's a mining level. And so I think it both makes the no mines more balanced and more fun. As you're hunting around the mines, you get excited when you see, oh, did they both turn? Dude, those guys were right on me and then they just disappeared. Okay, here we go. Hey, sound the alarm. The enemy is approaching. Need eyes, chip, 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 need chip, chip. brain. <laughs> I want to die. I'm gonna stick you in my pipe and smoke you. Ah! All right, I'm raising my block ability. That's good. Where'd this troll go? I want that troll. He was almost dead. I hope I find him before somebody else kills him because he's mine. This is going great. This is one of the better no mind starts that I've had that with a class who's not a wizard. Although I guess stealth classes tend to do pretty well in the mines because it's so, so dark. I'm out of pickaxes. I need to go find another gnome because one of the things about not having pickaxes, you don't know where the gold is. You don't know where you haven't explored and so you don't know where to look for more gold. Hardware store. I should have guessed. I'm gonna turn all these speed potions into, oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I for some reason thought my sicknesses were acid and they're obviously not. 
All right, we got, we wasted all of our water so we could get extra sickness potion. Now we have an inventory space and bottles. I can now tinker. I'm gonna be going around the level tinkering stuff on the floor. I should be able to level my tinkering pretty quick. I need to find another pickaxe. Am I running around in circles? I probably am. Tell me you're bad at magic without telling me you're bad at magic. Okay, this is that same troll. Excuse me. Goodness sakes, get away from me, troll. Whoa, it's like they all want to surround me at once. Come on, get out of here. No. <sighs> Holy cannoli, dude. Get away from me. Why are you doing this? I'm all... I'm all sweaty. I don't have the health for that. I'm surprised I survived it, honestly. All right, I got pickaxes. That was like my objective for coming back to the center here. You know what, I'm gonna keep that other pickaxe. I know it's cursed, but because of the new demand that, that the revised layout places on pickaxes. Oh my gosh. I almost got ganked by a lightning gnome. It's just even a cursed pickaxe is gonna be- Ugh. Oh my gosh, that's half my health. This isn't even a great place to hide in that shop either because it's a dead end and those gnomes. I don't believe they aggro to the shopkeeper. The cleric is the best solo for me for some reason, you don't know why. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> got close, got close. Glad you were here to see it. Cleric, I think was the third class I beat the game with. I really like cleric, it's one of my favorites and it's gotten a kind of an important buff that I won't spoil you for you right now. Oh look, a free control. <laughs> now I'm mad. No. We got some XP from a troll. I'm honestly kind of waiting here for HP to come back, but I might as well organize my inventory while it's happening. All right, I've got enough to repair my tinkering kit once. That's good, take a little weight off me. I'll keep the worn short bow, you never know. If you run out of short bow durability, you're kind of like in a bad spot as a ranged character. I can't believe I got out of that situation when I got trapped between a troll and like three gnomes. Oh, did I not have my, okay, there it is. It's only because I was able to damage through that gnome in the front and that the other ones luckily did not follow me through. I need to pull the lever. I mean, I don't need to, but I want to because I need this pickaxe durability. We have two cursed pickaxes, which sucks. Hopefully I can clear out all the monsters before I need them because I don't want to just burn up those pickaxes. I want to use all their durability on the gold in here because it's a lot of gold. That was a lucky shot. All right, I broke a shield. That's all right. Gained some block. Another cursed pickaxe. Rotten luck. I can run from threats. I can also cast. I'm quite pleased to be using up a cursed pickaxe for all it's worth. Get some gold. All right, now I have a real pickaxe. So I can rely on that and keep a weapon available. I really like baiting gnomes into accidentally breaking a wall. Feels really cool when they do it. Like, I guess I don't bait them. Oops, that was a misclick. Free apple, baby. Okay, we can do another repair on my tinkering kit. Thanks to all the scrapping we've been doing. I hear a gnome. I'm gonna go kill him. I haven't killed a lightning gnome yet, hilariously. Normally the strategy in these mines is to find a lightning gnome, kill him, take his staff, and then use it to kill everything else. Well, I haven't done that at all because I haven't been able to isolate a single lightning gnome while I was in a position to kill him. Let me make sure I have the right side of my earbuds in, left and right, because I feel like my ears are fooling me. It's a problem with stereoscopic sound. Okay, there's a gnome. Oh, he ran away. Get assassinated, loser. <laughs> ah! Me no know why all the trolls. Ouch! Watch out! One call. <laughs> Me want rest. No. Oh man, I really feel like the rogue's new loadout is really, really practical. Just being able to use that poison reliably or the, the sickness on tough guys. Okay, here we go. Let's, um, there we go. Yeah. Didn't feel a thing. Ruin his day for a while. That actually lets me keep track of him too, which is an interesting side effect. Okay, I think the poison wore off. Oh, tactical retreat. Psych. 
Alright, we got ourselves a lightning staff, finally. Yo, what's up, Ink? What's up? This is the first character I've played. It's a rogue, obviously. I mean, I say obviously. But the rogue now has 15 knockback arrows, a noisemaker, 5 poison instead of 3, or 5 sickness instead of 3. And all that stuff has really been making a difference so far. And I'm about to assassinate this lightning gnome. Turn around, stupid. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Haha, <laughs> got him. And I'm also showcasing some changes to the Gnomish Mines. The layout is mostly the same. What's up, Grotesque Mannequin? I've hidden all the gold inside walls. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just scrap that. And so all those pickaxes you get actually serve a purpose now, rather than just like giving you a ridiculous quantity of one of the game's most useful utility items. See, check out this new gold vein. Yeah. The kit uh, definitely reduces my inventory problems. I made two new gold vein textures. This is one of them. The level has the exact same amount of gold hidden in it as it used to, but now all of the gold is hidden inside of these gold vein walls. And so there's a reason to use all these pickaxes that the gnomes drop. And it looks cool and it's fun to do. Makes exploring more fun. Rather than the maze just feeling like a windy chore, the maze has secrets hidden all over it because every gold vein kind of feels like a secret, you know? What was in this chest? An apple, that's funny because I ate an apple to make room for it. And you were really troubled by your hoarding. Oh yeah. Especially as a rogue, you're good at alchemy and tinkering right out the gate. Oh, he broke his pickaxe. I needed that. <laughs> That's funny. Bow. All right, and his pickaxe is still serviceable. Got a worn wooden shield and a serviceable. Let's go ahead and keep one shield around. As a rogue, I'm not really invested in shields right now. I hear that gnome. He's close. We got two pickaxes we can use. I need to adjust my layout a bit. It's a little bit goofy right now. There we go. That makes a little more sense to me. It's nice how fast that is to do. If you know the buttons well, it's not like a big chore to rearrange your hotbar. One more down. Ooh, a book of light, I can use that. And a book of cold. One of the better attack spells in the game. I'll hang on to that. Lesser minds think this belongs to our universe. Okay, we can do another repair. Now our tinkering kit is excellent. We've got bottles and lock picks we can make. There's been like one lightning gnome and like no lantern gnomes, which has made that actually significantly easier. A lot of pickaxe gnomes, which means I get to do a lot more digging without worrying about it. I'm not sure why, like my OBS was set up so that the game was quieter and I can't say I did that on purpose. I must have done it at some point, but as long as the game is loud enough. The other thing I like about hiding the gold in the walls here, as you chop up the walls in order to get the gold, it just makes the level easier to traverse. There aren't so many dead ends. There's more routes to escape enemies that you've built ahead of time. That's like, yeah, you could always have busted holes in walls, but I've actually strategically placed each vein so that it, if you broke it, it would create a uh, loop. Just a little level design trick. <laughs> I'm so used to having melee on the X button that I keep misclicking to take out my sword and I take my bow out instead. So I just decided to rectify that. This is when seven lightning gnomes appear around the corner. Yeah, that's right. What's up, Lydia? What exactly inspired you to add the gold cobblestone tiles? Just because the gnomish mines, I just don't think it was very fun. There's kind of like one way to go about it and you always ended up with, oh yeah, got him. You always ended up with all these pickaxes that you didn't have any use for. And so you either leave them on the ground and you don't care about them or you hoard them and take them to the end game. And the level just didn't feel very dynamic. It was like, it was a one trick pony and that trick was Kill a gnome, get his lightning staff, kill the rest of the gnomes. All that this level was packed inside this really tedious maze. And so the gold vein tiles really solved a lot of problems at the same time. It served as a way to eat up the extra pickaxes, give you something to do, give you a reason to create loops in the level so that it's not such a maze. After chopping through so much of this maze, look how much easier it is to traverse in here. And I'm using up like all these pickaxes. The only ones I haven't used up so far have been the cursed ones. And I'm only keeping them around just in case I need them in this level. <laughs> I might keep one of them if I don't have a good quality pickaxe later. Oh, I thought his health was lower than that. That was pretty risky. Okay, and he drops three good gems, unfortunately. I think I can get rid of these two. Wow, I'm getting really good at appraising. Easier to traverse, easier to do those buggers, ambush you. Yeah, I guess so. No, I'm strike you down, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is easier in a way for them to ambush me, but it's so much easier to escape. Not being able to escape is actually like probably the biggest reason that you die in this level, I think. Oh, 
Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't know. The trapdoor is here now because the no mines is like the only secret level that you can't exit easily. If people didn't want to be here and like reap all the rewards of it, we didn't want to force them to be here because that's been the way we handle all the other secret levels and there's no reason why the no mines should be like the exception. Is there any items I can get rid of? Got some pretty inexpensive gems here. I might throw this one away. This one, I'll keep the 371. I think there's what, like one gnome left in here? I'm very slow, which is not good. I wonder if it's these staffs that are weighing me down or if it's all this scrap. Oh, look at my tinkering. 52 tinkering, holy cannoli. I should spend some of these then. Tempted to do sleep traps because I can make a lot more of them. It's good for the rogues play style. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now we have a ton of sleep traps. That's gonna be fun to use. Oh yeah, and I weigh way less now, okay. Let's not keep those around because we can make them anytime we want now. Okay, great. We got acid. I'm chasing the sounds of gnomes. Oh, there's two There's two gnomes. I'm like hunting them. I probably don't need to. Let's go get the helmet and get out of here. But I hear the gnome. Man, they're playing tricks on me. Oh, I didn't pull the lever. Silly, silly. I've been in these mines a long time. Like, most of this playthrough has easily been in these mines. Come on. All right. Oh, dude, I want to get an assassination with a pickaxe. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> oh, that was fun to do. That must be the last gnome. I haven't heard any others. I'm holding a cursed pickaxe, so I had to keep this pickaxe on, so... I can only do damage with spells and this pickaxe, so I figured I might as well get a, a roguish backstab. Hi, I wanted to offer a promotion. Please don't solicit in my channel. As a rogue, I cleared the gnome mines. You know what? There's one spot that isn't cleared. It's going to bug me if I don't look at it. I know there's nothing in there, but you know how it is. There's also this sign. Not come to take gold. Leave and maybe not die. Leave now and you let us dig without you. So that is a sign that I wrote. I was trying to sound a little bit like how I wrote for the gnomes in the book Cave Beasts. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's really tempting to like stick around to just kill the Minotaur with these lightning staffs, but I'm not going to. I don't want to tempt fate. Oh, I learned slow. That's good. Troll stronger than witch magic. Uh oh, there's a boulder I almost walked into there. Gnomes wrote cave beast. I legit thought humans do it. How gnomes get to the caves? Well, it's explaining why they left the caves. That's what cave beast is about. You should look at the first line of that book because it makes it kind of obvious that gnomes wrote it. Okay, little rat. <laughs> Just pretend I'm not here. Don't ignore me! Oh, okay. Zap Brigade is here. I mean, I haven't found the exit yet. I would like to recruit them. I keep running into dead ends. Dude, I'm gonna die to the freaking Minotaur. Oh, no, I'm not. Ah, they killed him. Haha, <laughs> they killed him. <laughs> That's amazing. Lucky devil. A lot of spell books on this level. Holy smokes. We have a pickaxe. Let's do this. Well worth it for the extra money. Oh, there's the Minotaur Emerald. I gotta find the Zapper Gate and give him a big thank you. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> What's left of the Zapper Gate? What's up, guys? Hey, I wanna thank you for the excellent job you did. I hope it was worth it. Look at this aftermath, bro. What the hell happened here? Bits of Yumi's everywhere. Yep, that's right. As cool as these hoods are, I'm not gonna wear them over the intelligence hood. Are these magic reflection? Oh, protection plus two, okay. The amulet is red magic reflection, right? These guys killed a bunch of rats too. I'm gonna have like an overabundance of scrap. All the guys who died look like they, I shouldn't say all of them. Several of the guys who died have broken magic reflection amulets, which tells me that they were in the thick of battle. I'll keep the serviceable one around. Okay, we gotta do a little bit more of this. Let's build a gyrobot. Wow, look, you can do everything. This gyrobot is in great shape. Let's build teleportation trap and just give it to the gyrobot just to have. So he has a, <laughs> he looks so cute with holding a trap. There's no reason for me to lug that around. Oh man, 
I have a luxurious amount of scrap and I don't really have a need for all of it right now. I'm a little bit vulnerable to boulders right now because I'm not that fast. Yeah, speaking of which. Now we're fast again. I need arrows. I'm not even in the swamps and I'm almost 80 tinkering, guys. Out of the way. Out of the way, nerds. Oh my gosh. Feels like tinkering was buffed. I don't think it was. I think I'm just a, uh, oh, one of the Zap Brigadiers broke the boulder. I think the rogue is just really good at tinkering and people don't realize it. I mean, you never know. Wall of Justice goes in and he changes a lot of stuff sometimes and it's not always announced. I mean, it used to take forever to level tinkering. But again, like the rogue starts with like 50 tinkering. I agree that that does seem faster than normal. I could have just gotten lucky, but you never know. Like since most of the things in the game have some element of chance, it's possible to just get really lucky sometimes. Dude, I'm so glad that the Zap Brigade showed up and killed the Minotaur. It really let me take my time on this level. Hey, look, another friend. What's up, friend? I didn't know if the Zap Brigade was gonna be able to take care of that without killing each other, but they managed it this time. I would enjoy a new weapon soon. I also scrapped a whole ton of stuff in the gnome mines. One of the things I noticed, I got pretty lucky. Like I made those uh, sleep traps and I think I got like five skill ups off of that. Time to go to the egg. We did everything we can do. I've got good news and bad news, Inc. Gonna go to the underworld, but it's good news because the underworld has had a lot of cool changes and it's gonna be fun to watch. I demand you don't do it, but I know you'll do it anyway. So go on, be a slayer and seek out the glorious death where death is most present. We're not the well, if it makes you feel better, I'm like an expert tinkerer and a ranged character. I stand a chance. I've got force bolts. I might be able to kill a shadow, but if I can't, I have uh, some lightning staffs. So if anyone stands a chance, I think it's our friend Wedge here. If don't care about your, your skills. Well, they do care about frost traps and sleep traps and lightning bolts. I hope so, because otherwise they'd rip you into tiny pieces and throw them for Herx to devour. You know, I'll have you know, I have survived the underworld before. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but it has happened. I know. Oh, it's my perception that's bumping my tinkering up so high. That's so awesome. Is it since I'm a rogue, my perception is really great. Check it out. Right here, it says I'm at 78, right? Well, I have 17 perception. 17 plus 61 tinkering. My perception is adding to my tinkering skill, which is how Barony works. Well, that realization isn't exactly welcome. Why is that? You don't like that your attributes contribute to your skills in Barony? You really thought tinkering was now easier to level. You wanted to have an easy game, easy life. You're an idiot 95% of the time. Well, we all are, Inc. You can't feel special about this either. Oh, come on! All right, we're here. We're going to the underworld. Are y'all ready for this? So right away, you might know something a little bit different about this wall. Um, I've retextured the underworld. I'd really love it if once when you tease me, you'd laugh condescendingly like Orpheus. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do, Ink. <laughs> But yeah, uh, you can see that these 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 textures look a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit duller, and that's on purpose. Okay, I need everyone to just come over here. All right, you're being really annoying. What's up, Wall? Hey, well, yeah, you're here for it, buddy. So I am a level 14 rogue. I went through the uh, gnomish mines. 